speaking of falling prices, Pippa Stevens found some pretty dramatic declines in food commodities key input costs for restaurants. Pippa, what are you seeing? That's right, Contessa. Well, this week's CPI and PPI re readings both showed that food costs remain stubbornly high. If we take a step back and look both longer term and on a more granular level, you can see that commodity costs specifically are trending lower. Now, according to data from Bernstein, during the third quarter, prices for beef and pork fell year over year. Coffee, milk, wheat, and cheese do remain elevated, but they are starting to come down. Now, this is notable because surging input costs have been a major headwind for restaurant companies, and they've passed along some of that to consumers in the form of higher menu prices. Now, Domino's said yesterday during its earnings report that it expects food costs to rise between 13% and 15% this year. But that's actually somewhat good news. As Kalinowski Research noted, those estimates didn't go up compared to the second quarter, meaning during a tough stretch, guys, the outlook is not getting worse. So, Pip, i got to ask you a question as we look at this beautiful, beautiful graph you have here. The prices of beef and pork are actually lower than they were uh, uh, a year ago, year-over-year -year price change. But the others, it is merely that the rate of price gain is slower than it was a year ago. But by any standard, when you are up 20% year over year on coffee, 19% year over year on wheat, 47% on milk. Over quarters. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah. the quarters. You got higher quarter to quarter. Well, yeah, you no, absolutely. Prices. And you can see they're starting to trend lower, but there's no, there's no doubt that they're still high. However, any and relief rising. here... And rising. But any, but any relief, Tyler, is really good for the restaurant industry because 33 cents on every dollar in sales is thanks to these input costs. And beef and pork are a major source of inputs for restaurants. So even while some of those other ones are still high, they are starting to come down. And so if we look a little bit you know, less on the month-to-month, month, but more quarter-to-quarter. Quarter. Yeah, but, the, but, the, but what, what's coming down is the rate of growth in prices, the rate of upward change in prices. I, I agree that's better. 20% price gain in coffee is better than a 49% price gain or an 82% price gain, but it's not as though my coffee's getting cheaper. It's still getting more expensive. Which is why I keep talking about people turning to store brands because the, yeah. the, 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 those brand names are getting expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pippa, I, thank you. Food for thought. Food ah, for brilliant. thought. We like that. Pippa, thank you.